If you're using an updated Chrome browser and you have any browser extensions installed that rely on the Manifest V2 APIs, then you may have noticed this pop-up telling you that this extension may soon no longer be supported and you should remove or replace it with one that will work. And one of the most popular extensions that this change in Chrome browsers is going to break is uBlock Origin. In fact, a lot of people think that the real reason for Google deprecating the Manifest V2 API in the Chrome browser is to knock out all of the effective ad blockers so that Google can make more money from their advertising network. So if you're a uBlock user and you actually follow this pop-up warning you into the Chrome Web Store to find a replacement extension, you're probably going to stumble upon uBlock Origin Lite which is better than nothing for blocking ads in Chrome, but as the word light implies, this ad blocker is not quite as potent as uBlock Origin. Now uBlock Lite does have one upside, which is that its content blockers are entirely declarative, so the filtering that this extension is able to do is going to be available once your browser launches. The filtering that uBlock Lite and other Manifest V3 ad blockers do should be a little bit faster and maybe more reliable than Manifest V2 ad blockers, but the types of content blocking and the extent and precision to which you can block content with Manifest V3 extensions is greatly limited. So uBlock Lite, for example, doesn't support dynamic filtering and it doesn't support disabling remote fonts and JavaScript on a per site basis. So your mileage may vary depending on how intrusive the ads on the sites you visit are if you decide to switch to uBlock Origin Lite. But luckily, there's a number of ways around the impending doom of Manifest V2's deprecation. The least disruptive option, in my opinion, is to just edit the registry keys if you're on Windows or the policy preference if you're on Mac or Linux in order to extend the support of Manifest V2 in your Chrome browser. So that way you don't have to switch browsers or anything like that, at least not for another year. Now, the reason for this option is mostly directed at enterprises. In fact, I think the Chrome browser for enterprise actually ships with that Manifest V2 policy enabled by default. And the reason for this is enterprises will often have some internal piece of software that is really old but still mostly works. And whoever wrote that software in the first place probably left the company a long time ago. And right now they just don't want to invest in the people or the infrastructure that's going to be required to upgrade to something more modern. So companies like Google will do this deprecation extension for those businesses for a while so that they can find a solution with the new tech in the meantime. And by the way, this extension manifest V2 availability flag is what every other Chromium based browser, including Brave and Microsoft Edge are using to extend the use of uBlock Origin and other manifest V2 extensions into next year because all of those browsers are using the same engine as Chrome. But after June of 2025, Manifest V2 will be officially dead for all Chromium-based browsers as well. So what are the long-term solutions moving forward? Well, the Brave browser has an ad blocker built into it that's written in Rust, by the way. And when the developers rewrote their ad blocker back in 2019, they used the same ad block rule matching methods as uBlock Origin, and doing so made their ad block engine a very sexy 69 times faster on average. So in my opinion, Brave is a pretty good Chromium-based alternative to vanilla Google Chrome. There's way less ads and tracking in it compared to Google Chrome, but its ad blocker still doesn't have nearly as many configuration options as uBlock Origin. So if you're ticking that advanced user block in the uBlock Origin extension and you're doing extensive per site filtering, then you might not be totally satisfied with Brave Shields. Which brings me to the option that I recommend most, switching to the Firefox browser and continuing to use uBlock Origin as you have been. 
Firefox uses a completely separate browser engine than Google Chrome and as a result is totally immune to Google's forced deprecation of Manifest V2. Mozilla has mentioned multiple times that there is no plan to deprecate Manifest V2 in Firefox and the uBlock devs said that they will continue to develop the uBlock origin extension on Firefox for the foreseeable future. Safari and other WebKit-based browsers could also be a solution to get around this because they're also independent of Chrome. They're using a different browser engine, but I've heard that the content filters are not as good in Safari and uBlock Origin in particular is not available in Safari. So again, your ad blocking mileage may vary with those browsers. Now, another notable mention for ad blocking that is browser agnostic and can be deployed network wide to block ads on all your devices is a DNS filter deployed via a pie hole or a similar setup. So this is really handy because like I said, you can apply DNS filtering to your entire network if you want so that all of your devices get the ad blocking capabilities, including your phones. And it also blocks a lot of ads on mobile games and other apps like that. Pretty much any app that's serving ads from specific ad networks and domains can be blocked with DNS filters. So the way it works is by blocking traffic from entire domains that serve ads or do any other kind of tracking, or you can just block any domains you want. Like if you'd wanna block everything that's coming from Facebook or Twitter because you don't wanna see their ads or trackers or you know any of the garbage that comes from those sites, then you can do that. But the downside with the DNS filtering approach is it's more of an ax than a scalpel when it comes to just blocking ads because you can't effectively block ads that are coming from the same domain that you actually want to visit and see the content of. So for example, DNS filters wouldn't block ads on YouTube because the content is served from the same domain and they also wouldn't block ads uh, in Google, like when you go to Google something and an ad is ranked above the search results for everything else, DNS filters wouldn't be able to efficiently block that either. Uh, for that, you need local content filtering like what uBlock Origin does. So yeah, Firefox with uBlock Origin is really gonna be the best way to block ads on the web moving forward, and it's the best way to block ads on the web right now. And the more support that these projects get, the longer they're gonna be available to prevail in a world where everything is turning into Chrome. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it to hack the algorithm and check out my online store, base.win. Get yourself some awesome merch like the Little Damon hoodie or Libre t-shirt and save 10% store-wide when you pay in Monero XMR at checkout. Have a great rest of your day.